<sighs> Y'all are probably wondering where I'm at right now. And uh, I'm at school studying all by myself. And that's what this video is about. As y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail, um, I was studying, as you can tell, by myself. And I really wanted to make this video. Because I really want to emphasize how important it is to learn how sometimes you got to be by yourself. And I know it's hard for people. But I really want to make this video to show you guys how the skill of me learning that I have to be by myself has changed me to a whole new person, you know. And I'm not saying always be by yourself, but there's times where you're going to have to force, your, to force yourself to be by yourself. You get what I'm saying? And situations where sometimes you have to be by yourself is study. Well, sometimes you can study with your friends, but it's hard to explain, but there's times where I have to go to the gym by myself because none of my friends want to go. Just because they don't want to go doesn't mean I don't go, right? Like, we all have to go to the gym, exercise, no matter what, on a daily basis. Today was a rest day for me, but um, I slept more. I usually don't sleep like eight hours, but today I slept eight hours and felt amazing. But... I rested today because the past six days I've been going every day and there's times where you have to relax. So I usually today I focus on breathing, I focus on stretching, um, walking my dog, stuff like that. So I'm still getting my body active, but my past six days have been going good, you know, so and my body's really sore. So today I kind of focus on eating, um, recovering the body, sleeping, recovering, but I'm still studying, you know, but... I still get that physical activity here, but just by moving my body more, still walking, being active. And that's an example of you having to force yourself to be by yourself because sometimes you're going to have to. Like today, I'm studying. Um, and the studying, I have to do physical things with a mechanic, mannequin, like stretching them, like residents and patients. Like it's part of the school that I'm in right now. And you're just helping like older people be more mobile like you learn how to brush your teeth etc there's a lot of things you have to learn like called skills in healthcare that you have to learn and it's been pretty fun i love it and that's why i'm here by myself that's why because i love it you know because sometimes you got to show up by yourself like me studying me studying this whole thing i kind of need a partner like y'all probably wondering how am i practicing with the mannequin doing the skills i have to do for healthcare by myself I don't know. You just gotta make it happen. You know, you gotta make it happen. And um, no matter what, I'm gonna show up just because they don't show up, you know? And I feel like everyone becomes an adult once they realize that all you got is yourself. No matter what, throughout your day, you just have yourself. Like me going to the gym, then going here, then studying, then doing other things like going to work. All these decisions are made by yourself, not by anybody else, you know? Like someone shouldn't tell you, do this, do that, do that. No, you gotta be more to yourself and independent, you know? Cause that's something I learned. I wish I learned it sooner. I guess I learned that like two years ago when I was like 20 and that's really late, but it's better late than never is what I kind of go for. And that's why I kind of made these videos to help you guys learn these things sooner. Cause I know I do have a younger fan base because of one of the videos I uploaded before that I'm not proud of, but I learned to accept it. You know, mistakes and I wouldn't say it's a mistake. It's something that you just learn from and, and you just learn not to do it later in life. You know, and I'm happy I made a lot of mistakes when I was younger still more mistakes to make. I still make mistakes every day. But I learned these things and I really just want to share it to you guys because the people that watch my videos are my fan base. Don't know how many viewers are going to still watch me now because these videos are way different. You know, I even got a comment from somebody saying, where are the fun videos at? And then there's a point when you just grow up, you know, certain people, you know, it just depends if it just aligns with what you really want in life. And for me, 
I had a fun time in my life, went to parties, college life, and it was didn't align, align with what I want to do at the end goal of my life, you know? I'm really of a family person, whether it's friends or blood, and my content where it's going was not that. That's more like a single life, going crazy, and I learned from it, you know? And I feel like social media just plays a big role in people doing the wrong things and then learning it later in the hard life. And that's why I make these videos, just to help you guys out. And the biggest thing I really want people to start doing from like now is remembering that you have to be by yourself. Learn how to be independent. Because one problem though from that, that I built is that my mental strength is stronger than my physical. There are times I push my physical health too much, but I don't feel it because of my mental health being strong. I'll keep on pushing myself. I don't sleep. Like, I only sleep like six hours, but the whole day I'll be doing something. And then when I come home late at work at like 11 p.m., I still want to do things. But then I have to tell my mind that it's time to sleep, get some rest, because we're going to do the same thing tomorrow. And that's a gift and a curse because I got these things after the first heartbreak. And I know a lot of people have gone through their first heartbreak, you know, and I definitely changed them. Changed a lot, you know. And once you go through your first heartbreak, you learn how it feels, the difference of being alone again. And I feel like a lot of people chase relationships because of the feeling of alone. But that can lead to other problems because you might fall for the wrong person. That's why you kind of can't look for love when you're alone. Love will just come to you. Like, I didn't think I was going to get another relationship, but then I met an amazing girl named Genevieve. Shout out Genevieve. And she changed my whole entire life. And that's when I knew what I had with her is real because... It just came out of nowhere and I've changed to a whole better person. I've been happier. I left all those things from the past and she's helped me a lot. And that's why I try to tell you guys that you can't look for love. You got to learn how to be alone. That time I was alone and I loved it, you know. But then she came in my life out of nowhere. And I know it's real because how much of me and her have changed to better people. And we're still getting better. We still make mistakes. We're still getting better. And it's a relationship that's up and down. That's how relationships are. Friends, family, all ups and down. If it's perfect, then I don't think it's real because if you're down here, how would you know that person will pick you up? You've never felt that in a relationship. And that's why I, this video is kind of like a documentary of like... These videos I'm making are also like sharing my experiences before and how they help me now attacking my new life because I'm, I'm doing a new chapter in my new life and the experiences I felt before help me now like I could show up here studying by myself I texted anybody who wants to study no responses but I'm used to that I already felt that I'm not sad I'm gonna show up still learn that I'm getting better and know I'm gonna be further prepared for when I need to take that test and that's why I made these videos because it's kind of like a journey to my new life. And I record when my past experience helps me now. And that's why I feel like it's never too late to start over because you learn from the past and you can attack your new life even better. <sighs> that's the end of this video. Keep striving. You're not alone. Comment if you need anybody to talk to. That's why I make these videos. And um, I'm alone. It's quiet. You know. And uh, I'm excited for where this is supposed to go. I love y'all. I'm going to go back to studying. Hopefully this video helped y'all guys out. Peace out.